Now, Mr. Beast is probably one of the most popular YouTubers right now. Although he has a mere 35 million subscribers and nowhere near PewDiePie's 100 or so million, I think one day he's gonna get there. He's created a lot of videos, everything from planting 20 million trees to hosting a rock, paper, scissors tournament with some of the biggest YouTubers in the world right now. His videos are fun, exciting, and they are clickbait, but he actually lives up to it, which is pretty cool. Now, in his most recent YouTube video, he's gonna be giving $1 for every 1,000 views that video gets. And it's already on 11 million views as of this recording. But that's not the only cool thing. On that video, the thumbnail is updating with the amount that he's going to be giving away. Pretty cool, right? Question is, how is he able to do that? And is he really a programmer in disguise? In this video, I'm gonna try and reverse engineer what he did and come up with a program that does exactly that. So stick around with me until the end of the video where I show you what I came up with. With that in mind, let's get started. Now programming is all about taking a really big task and breaking it down into smaller solvable tasks. The first thing that we need to figure out is how is he tracking the number of views on that video? Is he using some sort of API or is he manually checking that each day? The next thing that we need to figure out is how he's managing to create a thumbnail with the exact amount that he's going to be giving away. And then the last thing is figuring out how is he putting all of that together and then updating the video with that thumbnail. So I'm gonna go make a coffee and then come back and figure out exactly how he's approaching each one of these tasks. So it turns out it's pretty easy to get the number of views for a YouTube video. There's a library out there, but also you can access the YouTube data API, which gives you that information. The second thing was figuring out how he managed to generate that thumbnail. And it turns out there are a number of libraries that allow you to edit and manipulate images. So my guess is that he has an image without the number. And then every time he gets a thousand views on the video, he uses one of these libraries to edit the image and add the number on top. And I think that's how he's generating the thumbnail. The third and final thing was figuring out how he's managing to upload that thumbnail onto the YouTube video in an automated fashion. And it turns out it's pretty easy to do that with the YouTube Data API. It gives you a bunch of functions that allow you to edit the title, description, and even the thumbnail, of course, of your video. So now that the research is done, I'm gonna get cracking and see what I can come up with. Wish me luck. Right, so I have some good news. I managed to get it running and it works. It took me about an hour, so it wasn't the quickest thing, but it seems to work. And I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like right now. Right, so the program is running and it's getting the number of views from the video. And then what I'm doing is I'm calculating how much money that actually results in, because he did say he's giving $1 away for every thousand views. Once it's done that, then I'm using an imaging library to edit that image and put the amount onto the thumbnail. And then the last thing I'm doing is uploading that thumbnail to the YouTube video using the YouTube Data API. And as you can tell, it's complete, it's running, and let's give it a check. And as you can tell here, the thumbnail is showing. So fantastic, that works. And it took an hour, which was a bit longer than I expected, but good enough that I'm pretty satisfied with. So we started off this video by asking ourselves, is Mr. Beast a programmer in disguise? And I'm gonna guess and say no. He probably hired a programmer to do it all for him because he's got 35 million subscribers and he ain't got time for that. 
But in saying that, I really enjoyed this mini programming project. It just goes to show that programming is really fun. Programming is really exciting and it's really enjoyable. It really brings out your creative side. You can come up with an idea, build out a project, see the results, and that's quite an empowering feeling. I really enjoyed this project and if this video gets 1000 likes then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a tutorial walking you through exactly how I went about doing it with Python. With that said do subscribe because I am going to be making more fun enjoyable programming videos like this and do tap the bell icon so you get notified as soon as I upload them. Thanks a lot for watching, have a lovely day and see you later.